Hello, welcome again to Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Today we're going to talk all about toolbars. Now, I'm sure by now you've discovered how to use them. Let's just make sure you know all the ins and outs about your toolbars. To start off with, for example, did you know that if you wanted to float a toolbar, all you have to do is double click on the side of it and it automatically floats it instead of trying to grab it and move it. Let's go ahead and just move that guy right back to where we got him from. Put him back right up there. In addition to that, of course, we all know how to grab a toolbar, right? Right click, go ahead and hit draw, easy enough, for example. And uh, you, if you've ever been in a situation where you just kind of wanted to lock them all down, you just want everything to stay put be, instead of accidentally grabbing a toolbar and moving it, which is really, really irritating, right? Easy enough, in the lower right-hand corner, there is this great lock option, and you can pick exactly what it is you want to lock. Do you want to lock just the floating toolbars or the dock toolbars or every darn thing? I'm going to go ahead and say we want to lock everything down. Now, if I come up here and try to move this, forget it, it is stuck. See that? No way, you're not going to move it anywhere in the world. What if I want to customize a toolbar? Super easy, right? Right click, go down to this very long list. <laughs> Let's go grab Customize. And this is a listing of all the AutoCAD commands that you can grab and put onto your toolbar. For example, maybe I do a lot of three, maybe I do a lot of, um, let's see, what do we want? Centered diameter, or maybe I do three point circles, whatever the scenario is, you can grab those tools that you use the most frequently and you can put them onto your toolbar very, very easily. For example here, let's say we want to grab a three-point circle. Grab it, drag and drop it right onto your toolbar. In addition to that, you might find some other kind of cool features. Maybe you're a bad shot, you want to space these guys out. Did you know that you can grab them and just kind of pull them out and you'll get additional room in between them? See the little slider bar in there? It's kind of a fun way to, to work. That's only for those of you, once again, who uh, <laughs> aren't a good shot. And then sometimes these tools are very hard to work with, so it's nice to be able to space them out, right? To grab those in, put another one in there. So it's really just that simple. You grab the tools that you want and you drag and drop them. And definitely you should be doing that. Those commands that you use most frequently, make them easily available to you so that you don't waste time doing any type of searching. So I hope that was useful to you. Tool t toolbars are easy to use and I love to work with them and I hope that you do too. See you next Tuesday.